My name is Paul de Pau. I'm a neurosurgeon with a specific interest for evaluation of surgical techniques and medical devices. And I'm also the founder of Ergotrix. The problem of low back pain in healthcare workers is very large. About 47% of the healthcare workers have musculoskeletal disorders due to the lifting and tilting of patients. And in specific areas such as the OR and the ICU, it goes up to 70% of all nurses. Here in an OK setting, bijvoorbeeld, zijn de meest belastende uh, houdingen heel zware lasten gaan tillen, personen gaan positioneren op de operatietafel. The maximum safe weight a nurse should be able to lift is calculated by an American organization, where there should not be more than 3,400 newton of torque on the nurse's spine. So when you um, take that as a rule then male nurses shouldn't lift more than 23 kilograms and female nurses shouldn't lift more than 17 kilograms. The consequences of back pain complaints in the healthcare sector have been calculated by a German institute. They saw that every nurse on average was about four and a half days absent from work. That means that you have six billion euros of loss in the healthcare sector. The advantages of the Ergotrix innovations is that we use compressed air as a power to mobilize the patient. We will position the cushions on the patient instead of placing the patient on the positioning aids. We also use compressed air to lift the patient. This means that it's a more ergonomical benefit. Last but not least, there is also the benefit of hygiene. These are single patient use devices, so there's no contamination risk. EIT Health has helped Helgotrix during its launch and is now helping us during the further expansion of the company. Secondly, they helped us in the patent policy and in the trademark, which is uh, necessary to commercialize a medical device nowadays. And now they are supporting us in the market research for our launch in the US. The goal of Ergotrix is very simple and can be summarized in one sentence. We want to help all the people in healthcare. That means that we want to help the patients, but also the healthcare workers. And the last group has been neglected in the past decades. We're currently active in all European countries and about 40 hospitals are using our devices daily. In the near future, we will go to the United States and we're currently investigating the possibilities in the Middle East. We recommend all nurses that have to lift and tilt patients, they should use the available tools for ergonomically doing their job so that when they get home, they can at least lift and tilt their own little children. We are looking for international investor for our further expansion and for our launch in the US. And we are looking for people with experience in healthcare and in medical devices.